In the night sky this weekend, you can check out the full sturgeon moon. This is the name for the August full moon because it was often a time when there were a lot of the sturgeon fish that were being out there fish this time of year. The moon will turn full at 3.55 in the morning on Saturday, but it's going to appear nearly full out there on Friday night and again on Saturday night. Moonrise time here in Atlanta on Friday is at 8.27 p.m. and the moon won't set until just after 7 a.m. on Saturday morning in the southwest sky. So you can try to check that out in the night sky. There will be a partly cloudy sky, so not a perfect vantage point of that. This is not a micro moon or a super moon, but there are three super moons to look forward to later on those this year. Those will come October, November, and also in December. Now, also of interest this month, we are getting closer to the peak of the Perseid meteor shower. This is often one of those best meteor showers of the year. The path of Earth is going through the path of the debris from Comet Swift Tuttle, which is basically this little dust cloud and we are seeing these very small fragments of dust and debris from that comet that are no lot bigger than the size of a grain of sand but those are entering earth's atmosphere going at about 37 miles per second and as all these things hit the atmosphere they are of course slowing down rapidly from our friction and then that lets off that bright color that you see in the sky so you think of shooting stars that's what you're actually seeing it's those things slowing down but this is going to peak august 12th and 13th it's not the best year for it you know in the perfect years in rural areas with no light pollution you can see kind of 50 to 75 meteors per hour this year you are not going to see that we have an 84% illumination of the moon. We have a full moon that's happening this weekend, of course. So as we get into next week, we still have over 80% of that moon illuminated. So that waning gibbous moon uh, is certainly going to cause a lot of light pollution to block out all but the very brightest of those from being viewed. So if you really want to check out the Perseid meteor shower, it peaks Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. And we do expect not a great viewing in terms of the light illumination and also cloud cover over Atlanta with that daily chance of scattered downpours and thunderstorms.